What's up, everybody? Damn, sorry for the late video, but um, today's Cliffhanger Friday was great. I love Cliffhanger Fridays. It's heating up. It's definitely heating up. It was a lot of drama, craziness. Um, First of all, okay, let me be the first to say Tracy, Joe, ill. Ain't she a little too old for him and a little too old to be doing that? That's fucking nasty. I was like, Tracy, just a big old hoe. I was like, that's ugh. A woman her age. I was like, a woman her age, getting it in. I'm like, she must be desperate over Luke. I'm like, Tracy. Okay, I understand she going through some shit because she love Luke. But, bitch, you ain't got to give the draws up to somebody you don't even know. I knew from the first moment that Joe Jr. and Tracy bumped into each other, they was going to get it in because she was all mesmerized by him on yesterday's episode. I'm like, damn, bitch. Oh, and Carly, queen of the skanks. That's my girl. Don't get me wrong. I love Carly. But when Todd opened the door, she was just looking like she was all mesmerized. I was about to jump through the screen and just be like, bitch, put your eyes back in your head, please. You got two men in your hotel suite arguing over your ass, and you trying to jump on another motherfucker. You got a boyfriend, a husband on the side, and now you trying to get a sugar daddy, Carly? Sit down, please. Damn, girl. Surprised she ain't go to Sunny House. Shit. Had he not been there with Kate, I bet you she would have been over there. God damn, Carly. Chillax. You got two men. You don't need three. Shit. God damn. Carly always just got to add to the problems. Um... Johnny is starting to piss me off. Like, the way he popped off at Jax. Like, coming in there, acting all arrogant and shit like that because he dating Carly. Okay. Everything Jack said on today's episode was so true. Everything he said about her not signing the divorce papers. To me, I just feel her relationship with Johnny has been a joke like I've been saying the past few months. It's a joke. Like, her whole relationship is a fucking fraud. Johnny, to me, was just a bed warmer for her. That's all he was. He was the rebound guy. He's a bed warmer. That's what Johnny was until Jax came back. He was just warming her bed until Jax came back. That's all it was. Because if she was really happy with Jack, I mean, with Johnny... What's the hold up on her signing the divorce papers? It's been a year. She told me she was preoccupied with what? You're barely running a hotel. You're barely around your daughter. What were you preoccupied with? Getting some sex? That's what you was preoccupied doing? It took you that long, like, to sign some divorce papers? Like, what the fuck, Carly? Come on, get with it. And then she gonna try to throw it in Jack's face last year how he left. I'm like, bitch, you know damn well why he left. You, Sonny, y'all just straight up humiliated him. Even though she had nothing to do with Sonny drugging him or setting that whole thing up. And I do feel Sonny did cross the line. He crossed the line with that. Um, but Jax, at, you know, to be fair, Jax was acting like a jackass last year. Guzza straight up ruined his character last year, too, because I did not like Jax last year. He was pissing me off with that custody shit. But I can understand why he feel the way he feel, but he was very hypocritical last year about Sonny and Jason um, being dangerous. But look at your crazy ass brother. The motherfucker trying to set off toxins and whatnot in Port Charles and try to kill a motherfucker here. I'm like, that shit crazy. Like, So, you know, it was a lot of hypocritical shit last year going on. Still some hypocriticalness now, but I think Jax was definitely on the money, though. It was funny how he asked Johnny, so what now? You going to try to claim that you're a coffee importer now? That was a nice cheap shot that he did. He knocked down Johnny and Sonny all in one sentence. That was just funny to me. Um... Okay, I'm going to get back to Jason, Johnny. I mean, I'm going to get back to them, Carly, Jax, and Johnny in a moment. Because um, I got some more shit to talk about, Johnny. Hold up. I need to get to, uh, to a bunch of people, actually, in this episode. Um, damn, who the fuck do I go with now? Um, Anna. That shit, I love when Luke be going international. I love that shit. 
I love when he go international, that accent. I was like, Luke was killing him. He was killing me with that accent. I just had to drop down. He was dressed like motherfucking Mr. Belvedere. I was like, Luke, come on now. And then when Anna had that crazy look, I was like, damn, they drugged her up. And then she started smiling. I was like, get it, Anna. I was like, Anna, my bitch. I love Anna. Um, I hope she found Robin, though. I really do hope she found Robin. Um, I'm surprised she caught on. I, this is why I love Anna. Like, she catches on to things so quickly. You know, she could have just listened to Luke and everybody else and just said, fuck it. You know, accepted the fact that her daughter was dead. But you know what? It's a mother's instinct. She had her mother's intuition and she knew her daughter was not dead. You know what I mean? She she got a funny feeling that what Heather was saying was true. So, of course, she's going to be, you know, like the spy that she is. She's going to check this shit out because she never accepted Robin's death. And I don't blame her because no parent could accept the death of their child. No parent can even if it was true. Like, that's just how it is. Um, but yeah, I love seeing Luke and Anna together. Seeing them on a world adventure together, that shit would be fun. I was like, yo, I love when it, when Luke go out of the country and shit and do his little thug fizzle. I love it. That's one of my favorite things about Luke because he's, he's an adventurer, like, and I love that shit. You know, everybody got to have some adventure in, in their life. You know, that's... He got a lot of stories that he could tell his grandkids one day. You know what I mean? Because with the way Luke is, you know, he just run around the country. There's no place Luke hasn't been. Australia, Switzerland. He, I'm sure he's been to the Bahamas, Europe. He's been all the fuck around. Like, Luke, get around. I'm sure he got bitches in different continents. So, get it, Luke. Pimp on, pimp it. Um, Jason. <sighs> Jason fucking Morgan pissed me off today. I'm sorry. Jason is my favorite, but sometimes he just irked my nerves badly. Liz, I understand why he wants to protect her, but me personally, if that was me, listen, this is how I am in real life. I give people one warning. If I tell you to stay away from somebody, that's the only warning you're going to get. Once she said she don't need his protection, I would have shut my mouth right there. I would have shut it. I would have left. I'd be like, you know what? Fuck you. When that motherfucker go psycho on you, rape you, kill you, whatever, don't say I ain't, don't say I ain't warning you. I don't know why he fighting this hard for Liz, motherfucker. I gotta, you know what, I gotta go off on Jason this time. He should, he need to be going to fight for his wife. Mind you, Sam agreed to the divorce. She's still wearing her wedding ring. Even after she agreed to this divorce, she still won't take that ring off. Jason, fight for your fucking marriage. Don't worry about this bitch. Let Liz do her thing, her little slutty thing. Let her do that. Liz thinks she know best. Let her rock on. I'll get back to that bitch in a minute because I'm not on Liz's good side. I'm, she not on my good side right now. Fuck that. Neither is Jason after today. He not on my good side, but I will defend him when necessary, especially with Patrick Gamp ass. I understand he's struggling about this death of his wife situation, but he's all like he getting better. Cool for him. But I didn't like that little attitude he popped off with Jason earlier. I didn't like that shit. I was like, yo, that's just rude. He always been jealous of Jason, Stone, Sonny. He always been jealous because of the place that they hold in Robin life. I'm like, okay, but at the end of the day, you're her husband. You're the father of her child. She's always going to put you above them. Jason, Sonny, Stone. Well, Stone, of course, was the love of her life, but he's dead. It's like Patrick always tried to compete with a, with a ghost. I'm like, he's dead. And now you're trying to compete with Sonny and Jason. I'm like, for what? She married you. She didn't marry them. Let that shit go. Damn, like, stop being rude every time you come around Jason. Like, he's the reason Robin's dead. He's not. And she's not dead, even though he don't know that. But still, show some fucking decorum. Don't make me fly out there and fuck you up. Like, don't fuck with my favorite characters. I'm just saying, you know, Jason pissed me off today, but he's still my favorite. Um, I put a buck shot in somebody's ass any day of the week. Fuck with my people. Shit. Anyway, I had to get that out there. Todd and Jerry, they scenes was great. I loved it. I was like, yo, I was waiting to see Todd and Jerry Jacks link up. I was like, that shit would be fun. All that money he had in that briefcase. I was like, Todd hurried up and slammed that door and took that money. I was like, Todd ain't no fucking fool. He might be crazy. He ain't no fool. Um, Todd, don't nobody know money like Todd no money. I was like, you better take that money, Todd. That's a shit. I would have, I wouldn't have hesitated. 
Shit. Todd was like, motherfucker, all you had to do was start the conversation over that money. I'm like, right? Start the conversation with the money. Fuck all the other bullshit. You should have whipped that money out ASAP. Hello? This Todd Manning we're dealing with. Todd, don't turn down money. Um, Who else? It was a lot in this episode. Um, Anyway, let me go back to Johnny. Why the fuck do Johnny... Let me tell you something. Step parents shouldn't have no say in how two biological parents raise their kids. Johnny's not even a step parent. Carly's still married, mind you. He's not even a stepfather to Jocelyn, but Johnny just be acting like Jocelyn is his daughter. Telling asking Jax, what the hell are you doing here? First of all, he heard his daughter was sick. She damn near died. Why wouldn't he show up? That's his daughter, his only child. You don't tell him where he can go. Jay, okay, yeah, he tried to kidnap her last year. Okay, that's because he was in a bad place. Mentally, he was in a bad place. He just lost custody of his daughter. Life as he known it was not the same. Who the hell does Johnny Zakara think he is? Fucking grease monkey. Go sit your ass down. Carly don't give a fuck about you. You did you you him and Carly would never be in love. Um, anyway. Olivia. Yo, when that devil, when she saw Ewan and his fit, I was like, wow. I, every time I go to Simply GH's channel and I watch G General Hospital again, I have to repeat that part. I was like, wow. He looked, he scared the shit out of me when I first saw it. I was like, oh, I jumped. Literally jumped. I was like, yo, that was a good job. I love that. I was like, yo, the writing has been dope lately, though. I don't like how they breaking up couples, but I'm like, damn. The writing been kind of off the chain lately with these storylines and how she noted how she she sent like she kind of saw the virus when she looked in the cup. What this is what I'm thinking. What if she's turning psychic? You know, like that little fat lady from One Life to Live. Remember Madame Delphi Delphina, the little fat bitch from One Life to Live, Madame Delphina. What if Olivia becoming psychic? Cause mind you, she saw Lulu pregnant and boom, here we go. Now she's seen this toxin. Oh, and Stephen Lars was in her room. You know what? I, I'm let me say something about Steve. I'm gonna forgive Steve, even though he dogged Olivia out at first and believed his mother over her. I have I can't be a hypocrite. I have to forgive him for it. I can't keep talking shit about Steve. I you know only when he do something wrong. Because if you look at Todd, Sonny, they all did horrible things. Todd raped somebody, and people. Not only characters, but they forgave him on the show. The fans forgave him. I forgave him. So why can't I forgive Steve? So right now I'm going to forgive Steve. And I'm not going to say anything bad about him because he has stepped up and he has been by her side every step of the way. And I respect that. So, you know, kudos to Stephen Lars. But um, I have to agree. One of my subscribers said that you ain't kind of give off that rapist vibe. I don't know. When I look at him, he, he kind of do. Like, he kind of seemed a little iffy. Like, Jason, a light bulb finally went off in Jason's fucking head and he finally figured out it was J Jerry Jacks. But it was funny how Carly was like, when she saw the Jocelyn and she was like, you want to watch Tom and Jerry? I was sitting there dying. And this motherfucker in Jerry Jacks form pulls up on a video. I was like, Jerry, I can't wait for Monday's episode. Monday's going to be off the fucking chain. I cannot wait. Um, okay, it's time for my poll questions. Question number one. I've been trying to think about these questions, but um, sometimes they're going to be unrelated. Sometimes they're going to be related to the video. What do you think about Tracy and Joe Jr. sleeping together? That's question number one. Question number two. What do you think about Jason being all overprotective of Liz in this episode? Question number three. Do you think that's Robin that um, Anna saw in the, on, in the room? Next question. I'm trying to think. What do you think is going to happen? I know I probably asked this yesterday, but I'm just going to ask it again. What do you think is going to happen between Carly and Jax and Jerry and all of this stuff? Let me know. I'll see y'all on Monday. Have a terrific weekend. I'm out.